All right, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is the Russian Otaku back here on the Fortune Force Shooters channel with another video. And uh, by the time you guys see this, it should be uploaded on the channel by the end of Sunday, if not going into Monday. So, and this will be all. Uh, this will be uploaded via like an audio clip or something like that. And then I'm going to edit some stuff in because uh, there's certain certain things that I now need the strong need to expose here today. So since a certain individual wants to make it a point to just basically stir up more shit when he can't he he just can't leave well enough alone i mean the motherfucker is already in hot water already with with his actions within the last couple weeks really within the last couple months but since this guy can't leave well enough alone i decided to expedite this uh this here video and this has been this is a video that has been quite a while coming or a long time coming. I did say that I was going to do this exposure video today. Well, now it's been expedited with this individual's um, actions uh, in the last day or so. So today I'm going to be doing an exposing of one Daniel Rolf or Hiroshimaru or let's just you know let's just go by his old name. We might as well now cringe city because let's face facts. He has been nothing but fucking cringe in the last couple months. With the things that he's been doing, he's been doing. So this motherfucker has been on this bullshit ass crusade, this fraudulent fucking self righteous garbage, stemming from the fact that people will not see things his way. People are not jumping on on board his little sorry ass fucking self righteous thing that he's got. This little hate bandwagon that he's got against me now. And keep in mind, this is some. This is somebody who. I helped out, I advised, I fucking took up for him a whole bunch in the last year, really for the last three years, despite our history, despite everything that this guy tried to do to me back in 2020, I overlooked that shit, and I tried to help him out as, you know, somebody who was obviously older, and somebody who, you know, looks past, I don't like to hold grudges and shit like that, but obviously this motherfucker does. And he's basically been on this bullshit of, oh, well, you guys are taking up for Otaku. You guys are defending Otaku, blah, blah, blah. You shouldn't defend people with the wrong. And you're kissing your dad, blah, 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 blah. Meanwhile, at the same time, how many, how, many, on how many different fucking occasions has this guy been in the wrong? Just in the last three months. And now he's sitting here stirring up unnecessary drama because nobody's going to take his fucking side. Nobody is going to cater to the little bitch fit that he's fucking throwing. He can't he can't handle the fact that nobody else is jumping to his aid in trying to fucking go against me. And again, I don't know where the fuck this comes from or where it stems. Well, I have, actually I have a few ideas which I might share here. But uh, since this motherfucker wants to run his mouth again and instigate shit behind the scenes with a certain member of the asylum, I decided that I'm going to share and expose the conversation between him and one Nick Sabor, a.k.a. Faf Nick, from about a week, two weeks ago. And again, I said I was going to do this. So so this is when this guy wanted to offer up a bogus-ass fucking apology, and then everything that happened after the fact. So let's get into this here. So, like I said, from uh, once I edit this in, I'll have these in order. They're not quite in order here on my computer, but I'll try to have them in order as best I can. And I might cut down the because there were a lot of screenshots. I might cut cut down the number because a lot of them are just the same message. So, so here's uh, the messenger. Here's the first one that he sent Nick. Of course, obviously this is his profile here, Daniel Rolf on Facebook. He says, "Hey, is there a chance I could talk to Otaku and others? I feel like I was wrong, and I want to resolve things peacefully with him and the asylum by chance. And I want to apologize to you for the way I acted. I'm sorry." And then he says, I'm sorry again at the bottom. So yeah, it's a little late for that there, buddy. <laughs> if you had fucking did this months ago, all this could have been avoided. Really, this entire thing could have been avoided. Because of this stupid ass shit that you got against me. Because of a fucking video that I did over a year ago, which I told you repeatedly was not a goddamn serious video. And if you didn't... If you have a difference of opinion than me, it's whatever. But the fact is, you were taking this difference of opinion, and you were trying to vilify me for it, and you were trying to fucking turn a bunch of people against me. You are trying to turn the asylum against me, Nick against me, this and that person against me, and I don't fucking like that shit. I don't appreciate it. That's some two-faced snake shit. Especially considering the fact that I defended your ass, I don't know how many goddamn times in the last year. 
all over all over a fucking difference of opinion because you're sitting here getting influenced by other motherfuckers who who did responses and shit to that video. I know what I know that's what the fuck it is. But we're going to get into that later. But the audacity of this fucking guy like where was this energy fucking weeks ago? You were, you were saying, you were talking all this shit about me, about the asylum, talking about how they're kissing my ass, and this, that, and the third, and I'm in the fucking wrong, and now you want to come out here with a fucking apology? Oh, oh, you're in the wrong, oh, you realize, you realize now that you, you're the one who, are, who was wrong. That's what's going on here. But, yeah, well, let's see what, what else happens here. I don't want to harp too much on one, you know, because <laughs> there's quite a few of them I have to get through here. So then Nick replies... And he says, hi, Daniel, I accept your apology. However, there isn't. You have done this so many times now. In our asylum group chat, I've seen the screenshots of you on Twitter talking bad about Otaku and the asylum. Please understand that none of us really want anything to do with you. So there's his response. It was simple. It was upfront. He said he accepts the apology, but he wants nothing to do with him. He wants nothing to do with cringe. And the asylum wants nothing to do with cringe, and I want nothing to do with him. And truth be told, if we had been shown this, and actually we were, if we had been shown this before, you know, what happens in the rest of this conversation, I would have said the same thing. I said, okay, well, you apologize, okay, well, that's fine, you apologize, but just based on your pattern of behavior in the last several years, uh, I want really nothing to do with this guy. Like, after the shit that he's done the last few months, I want nothing to do with him up to this point. And I'm, the Asylum is the same way. Because we've seen this song and dance before where he'll start shit with people. Then he'll fucking, you know, obviously get a guilty conscience and he'll apologize and shit. And then he, then weeks later or months later, he's right back to doing the same shit. So this is something that he's known for doing. So, and this was a very... Very modest, you know, very, very simple reply here from Nick. He wasn't talking shit. He wasn't talking down to him. Wasn't calling him out of his, out his name. Wasn't cursing him out. He just said, I accept your apology, but we want nothing to do with you. It's that simple. But does Mr. Daniel Rolf accept that? Of course he doesn't. So let's continue to the next one here. <laughs> so Daniel replies, well, if they want to live holding a grudge on something that's petty, that's on them. That is fucking ironic as hell coming from you. Coming from somebody who has held grudges against people for fucking years for far less. For far less. You're still fucking holding a petty ass grudge or whatever the hell it is against me for a goddamn video from a year ago. A video that, mind you, and an opinion, mind you, that you yourself we're agreeing with. And you want to sit here and talk about other people holding grudges. That, that is hilarious. That is fucking hilarious coming from you. Uh, wish people could let shit go. Again, ironic as fuck. That is an ironic ass statement coming from you. People really should move on from this pet, from pettiness like this. Nobody wins from this. So what's the point in arguing? Okay. Then what, what, is, what is the point of you saying this then? If, they, if there's no point in arguing, okay, I, you, you realize that there's no point in arguing, so why the fuck are you still bringing this up? Why is this still being brought up? Why are you still making a big deal out of this? Out of fucking nothing. You're making a big deal out of something that is co completely inconsequential and is creating unnecessary drama, yet you're still doing it. You're still fucking doing it. Because you're an instigating little fucking prick. And nobody, buy, nobody, nobody then nor now is buying this fake ass apology. And again, keep this in mind, folks. And this will be brought up throughout this. This dude has started this conversation wanting to quote unquote apologize, and now look what he's saying. So Nick replies, "It's not holding a grudge. It's not pettiness. I and everyone has moved on. I don't want anything to do with you, and neither does anyone else in the asylum or otaku." Again. Another valid point from Nick, and I would have said the same thing, and I'm sure the other members of the asylum would have said the same thing. But again, can Mr. fucking Daniel Rolf, can Cringe City accept that? Let's see. So he goes on to say, it is when people can let things go. You mean can't let things go. Uh, there's no end this. Uh, what kind of, uh, Jesus Christ, this dude's grammar. <laughs> I, I'm going to, I'm going to interpret this to see what it, I'm, I'm going to interpret this to try to basically uh, translate what he's saying here it is when people can't let things go and there's no end to this we are a nation divided first off 
What the hell is a nation? What what nation? What nation are you talking about? The nation of domination? <laughs> There's no nation, dude. It's a bunch of people on the damn internet. Stop making this a big fucking deal. God damn. Oh my fucking god with this guy. Let me, let me just keep going. I don't want to harp too much on one or two, but... Instead of resolving things, we fight and fight, and what do we gain? Nothing. All we gain is more hatred. Again, look at your actions in the last three months. We have had a conversation about the stupid shit that you're going on about when it comes to me. About this fucking requirements video. I already had a discussion with your stupid ass already. And I will show the screenshots for that too, because I got the screenshots for that. That'll be in the future future video. I think I'm going to do this in parts, actually. Because there's more screenshots I need to show on this fucking guy. But I primarily wanted to expose these, this conversation he had with Nick. But he's sitting here talking about, oh, instead of resolving things, we fight, we gain nothing. Who is the one who keeps bringing this up? Who is the one who keeps making a big fucking deal out of this? You. Nobody else is making a big deal out of this but you, you stupid ass. So... If anybody's garnering hatred or gaining hatred, it's fucking you. And you're too blind by your own fucking, this bullshit-ass, fraudulent, self-righteous shit you're on to fucking see that. So let's continue here. Uh, people fail to see, people fail to see reason, and that's all there is to it, all, uh, all of this toxicity. Again, who's the one causing the toxicity? You. Nobody else is making a big deal out of this. Your fucking ass is making a big deal out of this. Plus, why do you care about what I do when you let Otaku do whatever and he wants uh, whatever he wants without consequence? Well, for one, I'm fucking not attacking anybody. I'm not trying to start unnecessary drama. I'm not starting drama with anybody in the asylum. They don't start drama with me. So what the fuck reason? Like, like they they've said it even themselves. You know, nobody controls anybody. We're all free to do what we want. You know. I don't understand what this fucking guy is, where this guy's coming from with this shit. And also, Daniel, I, I just feel the need to tell you this. Nobody gives a fuck what you do. The reason why people respond to you the way that they do is because you fucking put people's names in your mouth. You target people, you talk shit, you instigate, and then you fucking wonder why you get so much hate. You wonder why people turn against you. You wonder why nobody wants shitty thing to do with you now. Because you fucking do this little petty shit. Nobody wants to nobody wants to get involved with somebody like that. You want to talk about oh you let Otaku do what he wants when I come because I'm a fucking man. Okay, nobody tells anybody what to do over here. We all do our own thing for the most part. We do videos and stuff, we have some more opinions, but we're all our own individual. And it's fucking ironic as fuck you're saying that because let, later on in this very same conversation, and you guys will see it, this fucking guy sits here talking about, well, I have I can say what I want, I got freedom of expression. Well, guess what, motherfucker? So does everybody else. So does everybody else. So why is it a fucking problem that the asylum's not calling me out for some stupid shit that you're still fucking hungover from a year ago? Why is this even being fucking brought up? This guy's a fucking idiot. A dunce. Fucking can't let shit. You want to talk about somebody not letting shit go and holding on to petty shit. You were the, you were the last person to talk about that shit, buddy. The last person to talk. And then this next one. Oh, Jesus Christ. Mind your own business and don't interfere in my issue. Who is interfering in your issues? Who is interfering in your business, quote unquote? You have no fucking business. It's a goddamn internet. And how is Nick getting involved in your business? Nick is not even active on here. Nick doesn't even do videos. He's hardly active on YouTube or even on Facebook. Even in our group chat. He, he, he posts once in a blue moon, but that's it. How the fuck is Nick getting involved in your business? You fucking went to him with this bogus apology. He told you what he thought. He said, we want nothing to do with you, respectfully, so on and so forth. Didn't fucking talk shit to you. And that's all he said. And then you fucking want to instigate an argument with him. How the fuck is Nick getting... How in the blue fuck is Nick doing anything to you? He's doing nothing to you. He's not getting involved in your business. The fuck are you talking about, you fucking lunatic? Uh, so then he says, oh, Jesus Christ. I'm not going to kiss ass and take up for people when they do or say wrong. Funny, because you weren't saying that fucking six, eight months ago when you were on our goddamn group and you were agreeing with the shit that I was saying when it came to the whole women thing. You were saying, oh, women should be put on the pedestal and all that shit. You don't, you don't seem to remember that. 
And it's funny you talk about, well, I'm not gonna, you're not going to kiss ass. That's basically what you were doing. Let's just be real. You basically weren't doing that. Now, all of a sudden, you have a problem with it, which I find very suspect. This dude is fu Oh, my God. Jesus Christ, this fucking dude. This dude just contradicts himself constantly. Constantly. And there's fucking proof out there. People have proof of you basically kissing up to me and kissing up to other people. And, and defending the stuff that I said, that I've said in the past. And again, where was all this fucking eight months ago when you were in the F4S? And this will be brought up later. But anyway, so Nick replies here. He basically says, you messaged, you messaged me wanting to apologize to everyone. You brought me up and everyone else on a video you did a few weeks ago. Saying you were, saying you just were just stating your opinion. And that we were kissing Otaku's ass when all of us have told you to leave us alone. That is not stating your opinion. That is us telling you uh, we want nothing. We you want to be involved in your online drama. You're the one who decided to start fighting with Otaku again. None of us have kissed Otaku's ass with that video he made. We all made that one response video to you and moved on. There you go. Again, simple, plain, and to the point. Not all this fucking jumbled up shit like fucking Dana was trying to do. Or, and then he corrected himself. He said, we don't. So then Dana replies, oh God, here it is. Well, it's true. I feel like y'all kiss his ass. Again, how? How? Can this guy fucking explain this? Can this guy explain anything? How is anybody kissing my ass? Because we have similar opinions? Because we're friends? Because we do videos together? How is that kissing? Oh my fucking God, dude. This dude is so goddamn, oh, sh this dude is so fucking out of touch with reality. Out of fucking touch with reality. So, 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 this dude clearly has no idea how friendship works. No fucking idea. When you are cool with somebody, when you're friends with somebody, you take up for them, they take up for you. That's how it is. That's how I am with the asylum. They don't, you know, we don't ask for each other's help. But if something were to happen... I would have their back, I would take up for them, and they would take up for me. It's that simple. This guy seems to fucking think that being somebody's friend and taking up for them or whatever means kissing ass. That is fucking stupid. And again, you were the, this is coming from the exact same person who fucking kissed up to me and agreed and defended things that I said not even a year prior. So again, you were the last person to talk about this shit. It's called honesty. What fucking honesty? If it's fucking honesty, then why are you apologizing? If you are so uh, convinced that you're in the quote-unquote right, then why the fuck are you apologizing in the beginning of this thing? Literally said, oh, I felt like I was wrong and blah, 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 and I want to apologize to a talk with the asylum. What the fuck was that? Did you, did you just make that up? Fuck, honesty. More like instigating. Get fuck out of here. Fuck out of here, kid. You don't know the first thing about honesty. And here's the thing. Here's the part where he said freedom of expression. Again, Fucking a couple messages ago, you were literally sitting here saying, you let Otaku do what he wants without consequence. And then turns around, oh, well, I can say what I want. It's freedom of expression. Well, guess what, bitch? I can too. I'm free to express myself too. Freedom of expression doesn't just apply to you, asshole. I can, I can express myself too. So go fuck yourself. So then he continues. And he replies to Nick's message. And he basically says, thanks for admitting. Thanks for admitting what? Thanks for admitting what? That you're a fucking retard? Thanks for admitting that, that we want nothing to do with you? Okay. Not sure what the fuck that means. So then he continues, people should vet out their frustrations and express themselves. You guys aren't saints. Again, that's fucking the irony of that statement. I'm just saying, y'all contradict yourselves too. Bullshit. You literally contradicted yourself several times in this one message. In this fucking exchange already. Fuck out of here. Y'all contradict yourselves too. Y'all scold me when I do the stuff I want, yet you guys never get on to Otaku when he does or says wrong. That's favoritism. What am I doing wrong? Can you explain that to me? You still to this day have not explained. What am I doing? And I know you're not going to because you fucking, every time somebody confronts you on something, you, you, you redirect and you don't fucking answer shit. What am I doing wrong, Daniel? How am I doing wrong? Please, explain that. How the fuck am I in the wrong? What am I in the wrong about? Because of a fucking opinion? Because of a goddamn video I did a year ago that you, your ass was agreeing with? How am I in the wrong? You want to talk about contradicting? You can literally contradict yourself here a bunch of times. And who the fuck is scolding you? Nobody's scolding you. 
It's called giving advice. Again, you do not, this dude does not fucking know the difference between scolding and giving fucking advice. People give you advice. You go to them and you ask for fucking advice and we give it to you. And then you turn around and you don't fucking listen. So what the fuck is the point? How the fuck is anybody scolding? I don't know where the fuck this guy is getting this from. Favoritism. Fuck off. Again. That's why I felt the need to express my issues. I feel like y'all treat him like he's some golden boy while being mistreated and underappreciated. Who the fuck is mistreating and who is underappreciating you? The reason why we go at you the way that we do is because you're a fucking selfish, petty, instigating little fucking piece of shit. And you prove it fucking constantly. You prove it constantly. So let me continue. Again, I don't want this to be too long. I do apologize if I brought you guys up. I only did it for reference as to why I felt the way I felt about Otaku. I just felt underappreciated and mistreated. Nobody told me to do anything. I did it because I felt it was the only way you guys were going to respond. There it is. There it is. He literally just admitted right there in that message that the reason why he brought the asylum up in the video was because he wanted them to respond. So you basically said without saying that you are instigating shit because you want a response. So there the fuck it is. There the fuck it is. And then he's had a voice message here. I don't, I don't, I've, I, I'm don't. i not going to go and play that shit. It's just basically him bitching. So Nick responds, none of us have made excuses about otaku. None of us have made videos or comments towards being, other ones, towards being like, good video, man. Where was this energy? Oh, here's a good point here. Where was this energy when you were in the Fortune 4 shooters? How come when he initially made the video, you didn't immediately leave the FRS and immediately call him out on it? He made the video six months ago. Well, actually, it was a year ago, but yeah. He made the video six months ago. How come you didn't call him out on it then? He is a grown-ass man. He can do whatever he wants to do. We can't control what he does. We are not the police. Thank you. Very good points. All valid points by Nick right there. Where was this fucking energy when you were in the force four shooter six months or eight months ago? He did not have the same energy, Nick. I'll tell you that right now. He did not have the same energy. He did not say any of the shit. <sighs> but he fucking continues here. Of course, he doesn't answer anything that Nick just said. He continues here and he says, So am I. I should do whatever the hell I want. Again, we don't fucking care what you we don't fucking care what you do. But you want to name drop people, you're going to get fucking responded to. And you keep denying it because it's natural. Because what I've been saying is the truth that you can't ha Again, if it is the truth, why the fuck are you apologizing? If what you're saying is the truth, then why is nobody agreeing with you? Why is nobody taking your side? Fuck, you, you, you're fucking... If anybody's fucking delusional here, it's you. So you keep kissing Otaku's ass, that's all you do. Y'all his white... Oh my fucking god, dude. Yeah, kiss, yeah, again, a guy who kissed fucking people's ass in the past, talking about other people kissing ass. It, it, it's obvious what this asshole is doing. It's obvious what he's fucking doing. He's just instigating, he's just instigating shit. You're a fucking instigating little prick. Fucking piece of shit. And then look at this one. So send this shit to Otaku in the asylum for all I care. I'm on my own. Honestly, I'm enjoying it. Maybe you should try it some time. Keep being delusional. That's fucking hilarious. That That's actually going to be revisited. That message there where he says, yo, you can show this to the asylum and the Otaku, that will be revisited down the line. So I want to get through the rest of these here. So Nick replies, no one said you couldn't do what you wanted to do. Everyone in the asylum has been trying to give you advice on what is and what is not a good idea. Dark Horse told you it wasn't a good idea to fight with Otaku and you didn't listen. Christian Otaku helped you out giving you advice. You, I just told you I didn't care about online drama. Again from Nick. Good points. Dana's response. Well, I don't need them. They told me they told me on my own. And if it gets under their skin, I might be I must be doing so. Oh God, that fucking logic. Well, by that logic, Daniel. By that fucking logic, I mentioned this before, but by that logic, you literally reply to everything I do. So I must be doing something right, motherfucker. I'm better off on my own. Like I said, you should try it. It's pretty refreshing. They can get mad. I don't care if it's giving them a reaction. I'm doing something right. Again, this fucking logic goes over. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm not even I'm wasting my breath here. That fucking logic. Jesus Christ. I don't need the barking orders at me. Who is barking orders at you? Who is doing this? Jesus Christ. I'm grown enough to make my own decisions and I'll leave it at that. End of discussion. Okay, it's end of discussion. So stop talking. Stop talking. Stop fucking talking then. 
if it's in the discussion. But of course, he continues. So I'm trying to get through the rest of these as, as quick as I can. So, so Nick says, stop deflecting and answer where was this energy with you were in the Fortune Fortune? Again, he asked him a simple question again. Daniel deflects again and says, why so scared to stand up to me? I stood up to Otaku and honestly, I said what I needed to say. You didn't do shit, first of all. Again, you, 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 we had this conversation in Messenger. I told you what the fuck I think. And you basically said, oh, I apologize. And that will be shown in a future video, by the way. And he said, you could drop the subject. You're starting to annoy me. How is everything? So now he's trying to fucking redirect the conversation because he, because he knows. He sees that Nick is not falling for his bullshit. So he's trying to redirect the conversation. So Nick says, starting to annoy you, you messaged me wanting to apologize. I have been this night as nice as I could be to you this entire time. If you want me to stand up to you, okay, fuck off and leave me the fuck alone. There you go. You want people stand up to you, there you go. How does Dana respond? With petty shit, of course. Geez, no need to act like a child. You're one sensitive snowflake. Again, ironic. ironic. And you're a homophobic asshole. You're a fucking dick. Block me if you feel like. I don't care. You block me, shithead. I'm just reading the exchanges here. Again, you can see all this for yourself. And then, <laughs> Jesus Christ, this is where he just goes full retard. Live tar, cuckold, dick rider, cum drinker. Call me homophobic, yet you hang out with somebody who's homophobic. The irony, bro. Yeah, funny. Calls me fat. When did Nick call you fat? Calls me fat, yet he hangs out with someone who's fat. Jeez, dude, I must be living rent free in your head, says the one who is continuously messaging even after fake apology that nobody fell for thank you for compliments i appreciate it i got you mad now let's see you get real mad and then he says no it's more like i got you mad oh my fucking god i mean what do you wish to gain from this that question can be asked to you too what do you wish to gain what is the end game here daniel what is the end game here jesus fucking christ Texts don't have emotions, fool. Jeez, why can't you accept me for who I am? But hey, you want me, you want to be an asshole. That's you. I can do it back. Oh, Jesus Christ. So, he, so Nick says, I have nothing to gain from this. You messaged me wanting to apologize to me and everyone else. You're the one who decided to take time out of his day to do it. You're, you're the one, for some reason, still holding a grudge against Otaku. You're the one who thinks in our group should be the one calling him out for what he does. No one has. Sorry, again, these messages are out of out of sync here. Uh, no one has said or done anything to you. We only responded to you because you brought us up in a video when we haven't said anything about you. There you go. So then he responds, "Who said I'm holding grudges, dude? Who said I'm holding grudges, dude? Are these fucking delusional? What? You're literally fucking the whole reason why you had this message because you're holding a grudge, dumbass." You guys hold grudges like towards Chayton and those who associate with him. And so, who started that? Oh, that's right. Dark Horse. I don't see what the fuck that has to do with anything here. I think you are jealous of Otaku because of all the attention he's gotten. Yeah, again, good point. Why can't you let shit go? I'm not jealous. He's a laughing stock. He's low call. A low call. What the fuck is that? Nobody's jealous of his ass. Yeah, sure thing, buddy. Sure thing. So then he says, I don't know. I don't know. The, those voice messages, I don't know, those voice messages you said when you were talking about bringing other people up sounded like you were jealous to me. And then here's the last one here. Um, uh, unlike you, I'm not one-sided. I look at both sides. Bullshit. You joined the FRS hoping to get the same attention Otaku got, and when you didn't get it, you left the group and decided to start going after Otaku again. And then he replies, but if you want to keep this going, be my guest. I mean, there's no winning to this. It's like walking in circles. I mean, why do you care so much about what I do or say? Why can't you butt off? I'm allowed to criticize anyone I did. Well, please, geez, never thought you would have your head so far up Otaku's ad. Blah, 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 blah. Shut the fuck up. But that's it for the minute. I, I, I don't know if there was anything after that. I think that was it for the ones that he shared in terms of the screenshots. But you see right there, folks. You see right there what the fuck we're talking about. This is an absolute fucking man child who can't let if fucking anything go. This is this dude is a fucking man child. He's fucking 36, still bitching about something that, mind you, he was on board with himself, talking about, I'm, I'm tired of women being put on the pedestal, but now all of a sudden, months later, it was only recently where he started having this problem with me, with this whole women requirement shit, and yet he's sitting here actively instigating shit with Nick on Messenger. And so, there you go. There's the exposing right there. So I'm going to be back in a little bit. I got to edit this. So I'll be back with uh, the final part of this. So just give me one second.
Okay, so just wanted to follow up here, and I just want to kind of wrap this up. So that was the entirety of the conversation between uh, Daniel and, and Nick from on Facebook Messenger from like a week or so ago. And you guys saw, you guys saw what the fuck he was doing. It's obvious what this guy is doing. But um, there's just a couple more things I want to show here to kind of wrap this up and basically kind of summarize and give you guys a full picture of what this guy is doing. Three more screenshots I want to show. Two of them are going to be side by side. So I'm going to show them right here. Just give me a second, and uh, obviously I'm going to edit this in later. So the first was the screenshot from earlier as part of the conversation where Daniel basically is going back and forth with Nick. And he basically says, well, you can show this you can show this to, to Otaku in the asylum. I don't care. He says that, which I find funny. So then we get another screenshot from a couple days later. I believe this was sometime last week where Nick basically shared this in the group chat we were part of where Daniel messaged him again. I don't know if this was under a different account or what, but as you can see here, he basically says, Nick, fuck you for sending Otaku out messages. Um, but don't worry, I was way ahead of you. I screenshotted shit first. Okay. What the hell does that have to do? Okay, so you screenshot stuff too. Okay, so you both screenshot stuff. Okay, what's the point? Are you going to share them? Are you going to show anything? Are you going to show that conversation? <laughs> Doubtful. Because much like you saw here, it makes you look, look bad. And you, you see what this guy did? Like, he's literally in this conversation. He literally says... On the day that this happened, oh, you can share, you can share this with Otaku in the silo. I don't care. Days later, he says, "Phil, oh, fuck you, Nick, for sending Otaku the messages." So which is it, dude? Do you not care, or do you care? Because you're sending mixed messages. This, this is the type of shit this guy does. He's fucking this. This just, this just shows just how mentally unstable and how brain dead this guy is. Like if you you can see him side by side. I'm gonna like I said, I'm gonna edit him, edit it side by side when I upload this, and it's like. <laughs> It's, it's fucking hilarious to do. Literally contradicts himself on the regular, dude. And it's like, I swear to God, this is like, it would be perfect if somebody put that SpongeBob, you know the SpongeBob uh, time skip, uh, the time skip side or whatever, where you know in, in the in the SpongeBob series where you know a character will do something and then it'll say two hours later or five seconds later, five minutes later, whatever. Like, you know, it's that fucking Spongebob meme. It's that time skip meme. <laughs> fucking Daniel says, oh, you can show this to the asylum and Otaku, I don't care. F 12 minutes later, fuck you for showing this to Otaku. It's like, <laughs> that is so fucking stupid. But then again, look who we're dealing with. It's it's cringe. It's cringe city we're dealing with. He's going to do, say cringe shit and contradict himself all the damn time. It's pretty much what he did this entire conversation. And really, if you want to go back even further, it's what he's been doing for the better part of the last several years now. And a lot of us turned a blind eye to it because we were cool with him and we don't want to, we, we're not, we don't start fucking drama with people for no fucking reason. People often start drama with us and we, we retaliate. And then the final screenshot that I wanted to show here was of this. This was from about a day or so ago. This was, I believe, Saturday because it's Sunday right now. I believe this was Saturday. Or it might have been Friday. I'm pretty sure it was Saturday, though, when Nick showed us this in the group chat, where he basically messaged Nick again. And, and also, I wanted to mention, it was right after the previous screenshot that I showed, where uh, Daniel basically said, fuck you, Nick, for showing Otaku's message, blah, blah, blah. Um, Daniel apparently blocked Nick on, on Messenger. So then we fast forward to here. He basically unblocks Nick to send him this fucking shit here, a, a picture of fucking Rikishi's ass, and and then there's some some gif of a baseball player or whatever and then he basically says oh that's you and otaku in the asylum basically talking shit so this guy literally blocks nick for sending me messages or sending the screenshots of their conversation when he literally said oh you you can show him i don't care and he blocks him then he unblocks him just to talk more shit you see what the hell this guy is you see what he does you see that shit this is fucking ridiculous but this is the sort of petty piece of shit that we're dealing with. This is the sort of petty, nonsensical bullshit that this guy does. And it is getting exposed today. So that was the last message that was shown there, or that last screenshot, rather, from Nick. And I believe Nick did say afterwards that he blocked Daniel. And guess what, Daniel? Unlike you, you're going to stay blocked. Just like with me, you're going to stay blocked. Because from this point on, we want nothing to do with you.
The asylum does it. I don't. And a lot of other people out there, both in and out the community, want nothing to do with you because we see what the fuck you're doing. Okay, and, and Nick, Nick made a couple good points. And it just, I'm going to kind of summarize here. I'm going to kind of close this out here because I don't want this to be too long. To kind of summarize, everything that's happening to you or everything that has happened to you in the last couple months, you did it all on yourself. And everything that is going to happen to you from this point on, you're going to bring it, you're bringing it all on yourself and you have nobody but yourself to blame. You want to sit here and I saw that little, I saw that stream that Arthur did earlier on his channel on the v, Phoenix Knight V2. You were in there bitching. I saw that earlier tonight. Yeah, I saw that shit. You were in there bitching, talking about, oh, they told me a bit of a, well, you're getting called out for fucking stupid shit. So something that you said on Twitter. Or slash X, where you basically said a minor was sexy as fuck. And then you backtracked. You said, oh, no, I didn't I didn't know you were a minor. And then you fucking doubled down, basically said, oh, she, oh, you're cute, blah, blah, blah. And I want to be friends, really, now. And that's not some suspect shit. And you didn't think people were going to call you out on that? Well, I'll tell you this right now. If you get people coming at you for that shit, you can't blame me for that. You can't blame me for that. You can't blame anybody for that. So it's finally time for you to take ownership and accountability for your actions. It's time for you to stop fucking sitting here instigating pointless shit. Stop focusing on the past. It's time for you to grow up, own up, take accountability, stop blaming everybody else for your fucking problems. And it's time for you to actually... Do what you say you're going to do. Actually own up to what you say you're going to do. And realize that if anybody has been in the wrong here, it's been fucking you. And Nick made a good point in that conversation. He made several good points. One of them was that the whole reason you're doing this shit is because you are jealous. Because at the end of the day, and I, I've realized this too, and I think this is ultimately why you ended up turning on me, is because you want to be me. You want the attention that I've gotten. You crave the attention. If anybody, there's so many people out here talk about people who live for drama on here and stuff like that. And it is what it is. You know, it's fucking internet. It's fucking YouTube. People live for drama. People live for attention. If that applies to fucking anybody more than anyone else, it is you. It is Cringe City. Cringe City lives for the fucking drama. He lives for the attention. Why else would you explain the fact that he's still on here despite everything that has happened to him in the last year? Getting doxxed, having his family harassed, phone called, and all that shit. And all the stuff that has come out about you. Every single exposure, including this one that has happened, and yet you're still fucking on here. It's like you have no shame. You have no dignity left. But you want the attention so bad. You want the attention so bad. You want so bad to be me. You want so bad to be in my position. But here's the problem. You are not me. And you will never be me. And there's a bunch of other people that applies to too. Like Mr. Failed Parody Account over there. Mr. Johnny Five, that bitch over there. And all these other people. Want so bad to be me. But they will never be me. You will never be me. Or ever get the attention that I that I have gotten in the last three years. Hell, in the last eight years. And that burns you up. That eats you alive. And that's why you've taken to this bullshit-ass self-righteous shtick that you're doing now. Despite the fact that you contradicted yourself several times, despite the fact that you were agreeing with the points that I was making when it comes to women, despite the fact that you were one of the big people who defended me and this, that, and the third, even though I never asked you to. I was appreciative of that at the time because we were cool, but I never asked you to do that. I never asked you to take up for me. Never. Never once did I do that. Okay, show me one time where I asked you to defend me. Yeah, it, it never, you can't because it never happened. So this little crusade that you're on, it's going to fail. This, this, this isn't like it was back in 2020. Nobody's going to take your side. Nobody's going to buy into your bullshit. Nobody's going to stick up for you. Everything that you, everything, all the bridges you burned, all the people you alienated, they're all gone. And they're likely going to be gone for good. You only have what? One friend left? And that's fucking Antoine. And I didn't talk shit about Antoine because he's cool with you or because he's friends. Like, I'm sure you're going to probably try to twist it. I didn't talk. Sh I didn't. I didn't mention or go after Antoine in that video because merely because he's friends with you or this and the third. I went after him because he talked shit in the video about me. So I talked shit back. And it's as simple as that. So you guys want to hang over there and do whatever over there? Y'all stay over there. You go your way. 
We'll go our way. It's as simple as that. You want people to respect you. You want people. You, you want people to acknowledge, you know, what you're doing, or you you want to try and salvage whatever shred of dignity you have, you have left. How about you start by actually owning up to your work, actually living up to the things you say you're going to do, rather than go back on it like a week or a month later. Why don't you do that shit? Until then, everything that is going to happen to you, or everything that has, have, has happened, is going to be all fucking on you. So it's time to take some accountability. It's time to take some ownership. You want to say, you, you say you want to move on, you want to be on your own and all that shit? Well, let's see it. Do it. Don't talk about it. Be about it. Do it. Stop bringing people up. Stop attacking people. Stop bringing up the fucking past. Stop trying to use the past against other motherfuckers. And actually do your own thing for once. And keep, and continue to do it. And actually live up to the things you say. You're, actually do the things you say you're going to do. And, and stick to them. Why don't you do that? But I get this thing feeling you're not going to. So as long as you continue to go down this just path of nothingness, you're going to wallow in your own sorrows and you're going to have nobody to blame with your stuff. So that's all I got to say for this video. So this is part one. There may very well be a part two in the future because I really want to show and I really want to drive this home and actually show proof because I had the proof, the screenshots, the receipts, if you will, of when you were basically taken up for me and you were agreeing with the things I was saying in the past. You see, your, your YouTube channel may be gone and you privated your Twitter, which I find very suspect. But one thing that you can't get rid of is our message ex messages exchanged on Messenger, on, on Facebook. So I'm going to dig through those and there may very well be enough. If I can scrape up enough, there may be a part two to this. And again, the reason why this is happening, the reason why this video is being made on you is 100% on you. So it's time to take ownership, take accountability, and stop blaming everybody else for your problems. Actually be the man that you claim that you are. So that's all I got to say for that. Thank you everybody for watching. Rest in Otaku, represent FOS, and I'm out of here. I'll see you guys later.